expectations on your goal tonight? Um, what was going through your mind when you took the penalty? Just to put any back of the net and give us give us an opportunity of getting something out of the game. Really, um, you know, I've taken penalties in some pressurized situations throughout my career, so it's just another one that I needed to score. Really, of course, I've missed a, missed my last uh, two pens for for my club, and just wanted to right the wrongs and 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 not never. I don't ever want to step up and be scared to take a penalty. Um, so just always try and believe that I, I, I can score it and not be afraid and. You know, if, if the doubt's not there, I'm more than capable of putting it back in that. So delighted to do that. Take care, yeah. What does it mean for you to be able to score in the goal? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I never really looked, thought of it like that, but it's a great achievement from a, you know, personal perspective. You know, um, just disappointed that it, you know, kind of means nothing now, of course. But it's a learning curve. It's another, it's another milestone that I've been able to tick off from a personal perspective, but more importantly, just frustrated that, you know, myself, my teammates, you know, we, we weren't able to take the, the opportunities that we created for ourselves to, to give us the opportunity of getting the points out of the game. So, we just gotta learn from these these mistakes, of course, and, and, and it's only gonna help us moving forward. Yeah, Bermuda scored two goals in two games. I mean, a lot, before the tournament, a lot of people had written Bermuda off, sort of like, very happy to be there, sort of, that sort of insult. So, 2-1, 2-1, how do you think that proves that we're going to go out to the World Series? Yeah, I mean, it just shows that, you know, as a small nation, you know, a lot of a lot of people do write us off because of the inexperience, because of the lack of name players, if that makes sense. But I think, I think our group stood up well against what's, you know, some, you know, world-class players in our region. So... You know, the players can hold their hairs high. You know, they, they they play better than some seasoned pros, of course, through this competition. You know, even for myself and for other individuals, I'll play me, they're better. But that's football sometimes, and hopefully they get the credit they deserve, they get opportunities they deserve, because, you know, at the end of the day, that's just what we want from this opportunity. It's a good platform to showcase, you know, what we have to offer, you know, and we have a lot of talent and some players that can play at a very high level and hopefully we, we can get this from this. Getting more players playing internationally, how do you think that will get, take it, you know, this is a stepping stone to take it one more step? Yeah, of course, you know what I mean? If you look at our squad now, I'd probably say 80, 90% of our, our, our starting team is, is European based or playing professional to some degree and it just shows how far we've come, of course. The more players we can get in those environments, the better we'll be as a nation, you know, but I just know leaving, you know, obviously not qualifying to the quarterfinals is, is, is disappointing, but I know that the players showcase the talents as, as much as they can and, and show to the world that they deserve, you know, some better opportunities. So me as, as an experienced player um, at the highest level, I'd just be very proud to see people get opportunities after this. Of course, thank you.